This is Tom Dillon, the Lifetime Liberal, and today is Sunday, May 12th, 2019. Uh, happy Mother's Day to everyone. Uh, the title of this rant is, uh, Are Trump's Defense Policies uh, Making Us Less Safe? Uh, so uh, we're looking to get a couple new aircraft carriers at the cost of about $24 billion. Uh, it's going to supply a lot of business to a lot of businesses in a lot of states. And so senators and congresspeople in there are uh, get, uh, quite for it, so to speak. Uh, but the question is, do we need that technology? And will that technology help us in the next upcoming battle? Where will the future warfare uh, be, be fought? Now, there is a great need for a tactical aircraft at the sea. I understand that fully. Uh, do, but do we need to add two more uh, to, to our arsenal, so to speak? And what are our adversaries doing? Well, we know that China and Russia, uh, in, in addition to Iran, North Korea, India, and Pakistan, as remember, they may, India and Pakistan may be somewhat our quote-unquote friends, but they're looking at all of this too. They're investing quite a bit in long-range missiles and sophisticated satellite technology. And, you know, what will the future be? Because these two aircraft carriers at a cost of $24 billion, and of course that price will go up, number one won't be operational for at least seven or eight years from now, the first one, and the other one ten years from now. And with cost overruns and with delays, they might e it might even be longer. And by the time 2040 runs around, which is just around the corner, will the aircraft carrier be obsolete? And this is what a fight has been going on within the defense department on this quite a bit and of course this is the discussion that we as the United States the people should be discussing about instead of all this other constitutional uh, subpoena Mueller report crap that's going on because what else could we you know that 24 billion could do a lot to feed a lot of people and we need to also match what's going on in Russia match what's going on in China uh, because could that money be better spent on better sub-technology, increasing our capability throughout the world with sub-technology, hypersonic technology for high-speed planes way, way, way up there, cybersecurity, artificial, intelli artificial intelligence, and uh, increasing drone technology. And, you know, uh, here's the thing. Trump wants these aircraft carriers. He loves big things, he loves material things, but there's a very good chance that those aircraft carriers will be obsolete even before they're finished in the, in the Navy yards that they're being built in. And they'll be obsolete because of all of the things that I just mentioned. Because we are accelerating in a whole new type of warfare. Yes, will we need planes? Yes. Will we still need some aircraft carriers? Yes. But do we need these too? Or do we need to invest more in what really will protect us in the future in terms of sub-technology, hypersonic technology, cyber technology, advanced, uh, artificial intelligence, drone technology? And is our president actually making us less safe? Because maybe he wants one of them named after him and maybe that's why he's doing it. But again, these are discussions that we need to be discussing because uh, we do have adversaries. Uh, they are out to get us, so to speak. They are out to protect their own interests. And we need to have long range goals, ideas, concepts about what technology and warfare is going to be, and we need to pursue them regardless of what industries they may be cutting off. And it certainly looks like to me and to most people that increasing sub-technology, cyber warfare, artificial intelligence, hypersonic, uh, and drone technology is the way to go. And it may not be that we need to increase the number of aircraft carriers that we have right now. And again, if Trump is doing this so that he might get his name on one of them, he is not looking out for the best interest of the United States.